going on? Good morning. And the jackhammers start. Cool. But anyways, uh, this will be the second video, and today we are doing arms, back, bicep. What? Today we're going to be doing a workout that has to incorporate your bicep, tricep, back, and shoulder. So, all arm workout. These little arms need to grow. Oh my god, it's so bad. I can't believe it. Let's get into it. It's early in the morning. I'm tired, but I want to keep this out of the way. It's always best to get it out of the way in the morning or, you know, as soon as possible so you don't have that, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, and you never get to it. So, let's get to it. All right, so today we're gonna kind of craft our own workout and it's gonna be based on bicep, tricep, shoulder, and our back. And we're gonna do this all with, one sec, a 20 pound uh, dumbbell. It's gonna be interesting, but it's all we have to work with really. I have 240s and that's the only other kind of weight I have, but we'll make it work and you know, try to get the best workout we can every day different workout. So there's going to be three keys to each of these workouts. One, perfecting form, making sure that we have perfect form all the way through because that's the only way you're going to get like real gains. Oh yeah, number two is going to be working on feeling the muscle contraction. So the reason why we want contraction is because we want like the maximum workload on that muscle so we understand that we're getting the full potential out of that muscle. And three is going to be mental fortitude, which everybody needs. It's kind of like you just got to put yourself through it when your body or when your you know conscious is telling you to give up you just got to push through it's hard sometimes but every day you just got to kind of zone in and you know put your best you first no that's not what I was going to say basically you just need maximum effort and you can't listen to your mind you kind of got to battle it so let's try to do that and get into it and then after we'll talk more about things that I want to do upcoming and and such all right, so the first workout that we're gonna do today is gonna be a, a bice traditional bicep curl, but we're gonna make sure that we get maximum extension back so the tricep kind of feels it. So we're gonna feel it in the tricep, and then we're gonna bring it back up so the bicep. But we kinda wanna do that slowly. That's the reason why we're using such light weight is not to overload so soon. We're not doing like heavy ass weight. We're just doing it to get our reps in and making sure we get to the point where we get that eight or 10 rep range and we get fatigued every time. So I'll do a side profile. Got the weight right here. All right, so full extension back, bring it up. You can do eight to 10 of these. Back down. You can see that tricep really getting it. And make sure you have a good grip. You want a really good grip. So we're working on that form. We're gonna bring it back up, squeeze, bring it down, squeeze that tricep. Uh, my counting is I don't know. I'll do two more. All right, good shit. We're gonna do the other hand and then, you know, we'll switch the workout. All right, now we're gonna switch to the hammer curl because we're gonna wear a different head of our bicep. This is gonna be really focused on the bicep. When we bring it up, we gotta make sure that we're squeezing full tension or contraction on this bicep. And we're gonna bring it kind of in or to our chest and bring it back out and bring it back in. And the reason why we're doing that is because we're trying to work a different side of our bicep, trying to grow that head. So, let's do it. I'll stand right here, facing forward first, and then we'll do it. So bring it up and in, and squeeze. And bring it back down. Just don't let that tension drop. Squeeze. I think I'm on like four, five, six. There we go. And if you guys have any critiques or any tips for me, just let me know. Uh, it always helps. I, I, and that's gonna be a tricep workout next. But you do those two exercises back and forth, four sets, eight reps. And you're gonna be feeling it for a while. You, you gotta adjust and do your uh, rest time. My rest time is like 20 to 15 seconds sometimes, so especially when we're doing this. So you finish those and I'm gonna finish mine and then we'll do the tricep exercise next. Right. I wanna let you know that I am by no means a professional at doing this stuff. I'm just learning. So if you guys have any tips or any like tips, tricks or anything about working out, I'm doing as much book research as I possibly can. Uh, I try to study other weightlifters, bodybuilders around, like try to dive deep into the science of things. 
So I'm just basing my workout on the knowledge that I know, but feel free, please feel free to share anything you guys know about certain workouts, muscle groups. I'm just trying to learn the best I can and implement it. I mean, the first thing I had to do is like look at anatomy. So, I mean, I'm just, just out here doing what I do, but in the end, if you guys have, if you guys have better methods than me, just let me know down in the comments or DM me or whatever. Uh, I'm up for anything. So when you're doing these bicep curls and stuff like that, whatever you do, do not try to use your shoulder up and down like that. Keep your shoulders flat, your head out straight. We're looking at posture. You don't want to be exercising on any necessary muscles, you know? We want to direct the focus and target the bicep. I mean, the tricep is a secondary muscle that works out on that, on both of these. Kind of want the full extension back. Not too far, you don't want to be like breaking your arm or whatever, but you just want to go back, feel the tension in your tricep and bring it back up in the bicep. Don't use your shoulders. Because I've been doing that for a long time. It's, it's a horrible path to go down. You get just really tight shoulders and you're not, you're not getting the muscle that you want. So just a little tip there. All right, so now we're at the shoulder portion. These things that are my worst enemy. I use them to compensate for biceps. I use them to uh, I use them to compensate when I do bench press, like I lift up, and it's all kinds of bad, you know? So always had this issue. Sorry I don't have a tripod, that's why I'm kinda like bending down talking to you guys. I'm six foot and it's kind of impossible to do this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try to work best on keeping my shoulders down when we're doing the shoulder exercise. Let me bring it up. Don't try to be all crazy. You're not Superman. Just go up, feel that tension on this part right here. You can feel it when you go up. You can feel it right here too. I don't know if that helps, but it's helping me because I get to see it and then see how I'm doing. All right, so we'll start that. This is gonna be a front raise. So we'll go. Keep your chest out, head forward. And don't compensate with your shoulders. I'm kind of lifting it. So I'll put my hand here to keep it down. Ooh, 20 pounds might be too much. I'm gonna have some DOMS, like, and that's a delayed onset muscle soreness. So you gotta watch out for that. Um, but I'm gonna keep going, keep trying. So we're at like two, right? Bring it down slowly. This burns like my counting is shit. So you do, do the other arm, and then we'll move on to the next shoulder workout, which is gonna be out. You're gonna kinda need a wall or something to hold on to while you're doing this next one. All right, so we're done with that one, and we're gonna go on to the, the wing. Uh, this workout, you're probably gonna need a wall. And you're probably not gonna wanna do, if you're new to this, you don't wanna do a lot of weight. You just wanna get the form down. Because one of the things that people miss out on is mental fortitude, you have to always be in tune with your body and know what your body's doing, or you're not gonna be getting the results that you want. You have to focus on your form. Form is key, contraction is key, weight is not key. You, you just need, you, you can do a million reps of 100 pounds the wrong way, you're gonna get some weird, whack ass, deformed muscle, you're gonna be looking like the abomination, I don't know. Look like the guy that has like clouds or like injected himself, he has cloud muscles. I don't know, you look weird. You want a well-balanced body. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go through this with you. And we're not lifting the shoulder up like this. We're just going out. See that, that bend? And bring it back down slowly. This, I think it's the eccentric, or whatever. The, the, the movement down is really matters. You wanna be explosive up, and then slow down. Oh, shout out to Big Crit. Great music to work out to. Maybe if we hold it out this way. Oh, there we go. Ooh, you gotta hold it up there. 20 might be too much for me. Ooh, I heard a pop. <laughs> I see, I didn't have the mental fortitude. I wasn't staying in tune with my body. I might've been swinging all over the place, trying new things, but you, you don't want it necessarily like this. I mean, you can, but you kind of want to have it out and angled a little bit. And you're gonna feel this pop shoulder muscle or whatever, and you're gonna feel the tension there and the contraction. It's gonna feel weird if you're not used to it. I had an injury a while ago. I did a flip on the trampoline and it was raining outside because I was, let's just say I was a little throwing back the boys 
a lot. Whatever, I did a flip, it's wet on trampoline. I uh, bolded myself, scorpioned, and uh, it separated a certain muscle. My, my thumb went numb, all kinds of things, but this shoulder didn't really work too well. And working out's fixed it. It's like a physical therapy for me. So I've always had issues with sh my shoulders and lifting weight, but uh, you can get better if you do physical therapy and just start off slow and light it can make wonders for you in the future. So I'm gonna knock out these shoulders, exercise as best I can. I'm probably gonna be gassed after that, but we still have back and we still have a tricep after that. We'll probably go to tricep next, but ooh, I'm sweating, dude. Um, that was rough. So now we're gonna go on to uh, the next phase, and that next phase is, the next phase is gonna be triceps. So we're gonna do over the back. Oh my God, I can't even do, all right, so we're gonna do over the back, lift up, and flex that tricep. And after that, we're gonna do kick, like basically kickbacks. We're gonna have a chair right here, and we're gonna throw it back and stretch and squeeze right there. And this uh, playlist I made is just going ham right now. All right, so over the head tricep extensions. Don't hit your baseball cap. Uh, two. See that? Oh man. Was that eight? I hope that was eight. All right, and we'll go to the kickbacks. All right, now we're gonna go to the kickbacks. All right, so we're gonna go right here. Good back posture, flat back, ass out a little bit. We're gonna bring it right here, and back, and squeeze. You're really gonna feel it, dude, especially if you're doing 20 pounds. So you're gonna take it, flat back, head out, and you're gonna be looking forward. All right, not down. All right, go. Ooh. Ooh. All right, getting it. I don't know if the form was good on that, but we're trying. So where the mental fortitude comes in handy. It's hard to keep track of everything. The weight you're using, your rest time, your count, all that shit, dude. And then being in tune with your body and knowing what you're actually working out, you have to be on point. Every day might not be perfect, but you can uh, keep pushing for perfection. Uh, there's a Lombardi quote, I'll put it somewhere in here, but it's the best quote I've ever heard. The reason why I was on my knees for the over the back tricep extension is because I want to stabilize my core. Standing up, you can lean different ways and you can, you can hurt yourself like that. So I'm just trying to stabilize my core, work on my core. And any workout you do, whether it be anything that you're standing up on or kneeling down or you know picking up, activate your core because you're gonna get hurt if you don't. You need your core abdominal muscles to be strong. Otherwise, you're gonna really, you could be in some bad place soon. So. Just always keep that in mind. We're not, no, no, we're not done. We still have back and we still have abs to do after this. So, I mean, it's something I hate to do abs. We're doing back now and we're gonna do rows on a chair, row back and squeeze our back. And then we're gonna do, I think it's like seated. I don't know. You have the weight here. Let's see if I can, you have the weight here, a little bit to the side. And then we're gonna bring it up. It's another row, but I mean, there's not much back workouts you can do without like a bench. I mean, I'm gonna try, if you can prove me wrong, send me any workouts you can do with just a dumbbell and doing your back, but to the next one. All right, we're gonna try it from out here. So we're gonna put our knee here and leg out to the side. Hold our stance, take our hand. I don't know if you guys can see this, but take our hand, put it on the seat actually. You need to grip that seat and then flat back down and bring it up and squeeze squeeze head out i always forget and this isn't your bicep you just bring it up with your shoulder or your back i mean not shoulder don't do your shoulder up with your back down slowly now realize your head really needs to be up and pointing otherwise you won't feel it in your back so get it and we'll go to the next one all right so this is going to be the Squatted row, I guess, like this. You're gonna be going back, squeezing your back, shoulder blades together. 
right. I'm gonna use a chair. I only have one dumbbell, so. I only got one dumbbell, so I'm gonna have to use a, a chair on one arm and then pull back with this arm. It sucks, it's probably not good for my balance, but it's the only way I can compensate for that. It's kind of dark, sorry about that. Squat, and bring it back. I can feel it still. I was looking down. This, kind of, this one kind of calls for you to kind of look down, I guess, I don't know. Like, you just keep your head straight and bend over and pull it back. I think that's the best solution to that. Sorry if, if anybody has a better exercise for back, uh, just let me know with one dumbbell. All right, we finished that up. Now we're gonna do the abs. I follow the rule, Muhammad Ali said best. It's when it starts to hurt, that's when you count. You don't have to do that, but if it starts to burn, try to start counting after that. Keep going, when it starts to burn, try to do five more when it starts to burn. And I promise you, you're gonna see results. You don't have to do it like three times a week. I try to do it after every exercise now. I hate abs, I really do. Let's knock those out. I gotta walk the dogs, get food started, and finish up here, and have a good day. So I'm gonna finish up the abs, and we'll talk later about other things that are happening with this channel. We did it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, if you finished it, good job, bro. Ew. But I'm gonna go walk the dogs and get food started. We killed that workout. And it's crazy to think about, you know, three years ago when I spent two hours in the gym and now I'm doing like, you know, here in the house, doing like one hour in a day. Well, not really. I actually feel pretty good. I know that I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. So I got that to look forward to. But it's every day that we're grinding. We're trying to really get some gains, really get some results. I mean, that was the main point is just to, the reason why I'm doing so low of weight, um, I'm just working on perfecting my form, working on my contractions, making sure I'm targeting the muscle group that I need to or intended to be in the workout, and then mental fortitude, which I, I always have an issue with. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's gonna be the second video. Um, there's gonna be a lot more. I just gotta figure out a better way to edit everything, put it together. I think I can streamline it once I have like a format ready and we can you know, do it that way, but you know, that's it for today. I just wanna thank anybody that you know hits the like button or subscribes to this channel. I really appreciate you. Um, and there's gonna be a lot more to look forward to, like reviews over different equipment, um, different gym reviews that I go to once everything opens up. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to work on a couple of things that have to deal specifically with the fitness industry, taking art and sports and athleticism and, Athleticism, athleticism, and then kind of combining them together, and we have a really cool project coming out pretty soon. Well, not soon, in the far, far future from now. But I hope you guys stick with me, and you know, you see the results at the end of this because I'm, I'm really working hard. You know, and it's weird. I, I picked up this new mentality today. I woke up after that first video. I was like, I felt like I couldn't let you guys down by not doing a second video and just kind of like letting this die off. And page two, I, I really need to stick with this and try to do my best. I'll grow, get more comfortable with the camera and stuff like that. And, you know, energy level and all that stuff. It, it'll be fun. But for now, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.